Okay, now we're going to look at the convex lens. So the lens looks like this, but its symbol is that. That's all you need to draw to show a lens that's going to focus the light like a magnifying glass. And it has a focus. I'm going to keep it really small so you can see it easily without it blocking the way. This is called the focus here. There's also a focus on this side, right? The center of a lens does not operate like that. The center is actually in the middle. It's actually the intersection of two separate lenses. So if I put the center of any lens, it's right in the middle. Why is that? Well, a convex lens is created this way. You have a circle, and then you have another one, like that. And the lens is the intersection here. So it turns out it behaves very much like it's the center of a concave mirror. And the only way I can prove that to you is with trigonometry that is not really high school anymore. But it basically functions the exact same way the concave mirror works. That is a beam of light that goes in parallel to the principal axis will come out and go through the focus. And a beam that goes in through this focus when it reaches the center of the lens will go out parallel to the principal axis. And the final beam is the fake arrow through the head. A beam that goes through the center goes right through like it was not even there. And that one's kind of cool to set up with a lens to see it happen. So it turns out it's making a tiny image over here, or it's not particularly so tiny. So we have an image of our object coming together out here. Okay. And what does that do for salt? This means, and I change the font here, that we are now forming an image with the following characteristics. It's smaller, it's between F and 2F, it's inverted and real. That's what we get when the object's far away. This is exactly what the curved mirror produces, but it's sending it right through to the other side. What's this second point called here, if that's the center? Well, this is one focal length away from the lens, and this is called two focal lengths away. It has no special value whatsoever. It's just photographers use it. So this is the first ray tracing of a lens. 